Okay, this is um, where I stand on immigration, legal and illegal immigration and the DACA, the Dream Act, the um, animacy um, which Obama created. Well, my viewpoint is that the legals stay if they want to stay and people who are on visas, green cards, and also willing to work for um, staying in this country. Um, I have friends who are both legal and illegal immigrants. Um, I wish I didn't have friends who are legal because <laughs> Probably hate this video, I can guarantee you. Um, but Trump is right. Illegals are must 13 and DACA people are not here to work, not here to cause peace or anything. They are creating more problems for us. Well, we can't afford it. That's just saying, we come here wanting more than we'd be willing to pay, and the more than they work. Um, even a friend of mine who was a former police chief posted a um, status on Facebook saying, um, most people are willing to work for the dream and most people rather do nothing for the dream and I come on to them um, as sounded familiar and have a lot of my po posts um, about immigrants, legal, illegal immigrants and how they're so different from yesteryear immigrants Yes, the year immigrants were coming from war, World War II or World War One, where Hitler, Mussolini, and the Japanese dictator, I don't really know his name, but they were all evil. And they were trying to destroy this world and Jews. And the Jewish people who had the money and who wanted to move to this country did move to this country but they also worked to stay they worked hard to be American citizens they worked hard they didn't do anything wrong they just worked and they became US citizens when they had a chance and they were not rapists, they were not murderers, and they were not freeloaders like today's immigrants are. Um, hey, some legal immigrants are like that too nowadays. But most legal Americans got visas and we apply for the visas. Green cards, we apply for the green cards. Some she getting married because they want to stay in this country. If they're good, they wouldn't have anything to worry about. So I kept Corey Feldman, but your wife has been in this country long enough. She's working in this country. She's working for you and your campaign. So she was good, so you had nothing to worry about. And she's a Canadian. Not Mexican or a terrorist. So, you married her, I hope, for love now. I hope you woke up to the fact that you married her for love. Um, but today's immigrants, most of them are legal. And like Trump said, most are rapists, most are murderers, and most of them, um, have no right to be in this country.
bay of green lotus and uh, as um, terrorists fight as much as the Islamics are. So if this offends people when they say Islamic terrorism, but they are. And so Amas 13 and CNN and Amas NBC, Fox News did not create this group. You guys and the liberal left created these groups when we allowed them guys to come in to this country. That's why we have Kate Slot. That's why we have so many people dying of people being illegals. We need to get rid of these sanctuary cities. We need to take care of our veterans and our sick, elderly, disabled first, like my mother said, like I said in one of the other videos. She's an isolationist and I'm glad she brought me into that too because after seeing MS-13 and some of these illegals, we do need to take care of our bad friends, all of in the same way. The Freedom Caucus <laughs> and the Rhino Republicans don't care about them. All they care about is what they stand for and why they're elected. And the, um, so I'm trying to bring up um, the people in Washington advisors and um, I don't forget the other group um, who um, escaping me right now, sorry. But these guys need to go. Lobbyists, lobbyists who need to go and we need to drain the swamp. We need to get rid of these idiots who are destroying this country because lobbyists and the advisors who, to these government officials are not listening to the real Americans. They, they are listening to unions, reps, they are listening to rich people and the rich people don't care about the middle class or the lower class either. And that liberal, don't get me wrong, I'm not liberal, but I'm not for the rich either, getting richer. We need to spread the wealth to the veterans, elderly and disabled. And right now, no one cares about the little people, the small people in this country. And uh, when Trump got into the race and campaigned, He's the only one who listened to the public American people and who understood the plight of American people. We really need to let him do his job because he's the only one who's actually doing our job.